So let's go ahead and start working on our plant. Add it to the Seasons Now connections. And you can already see it's kind of become a little bit messy. So it's good to group them together and create it as sub node. But right now we'll just leave it so we can preview. The one thing what I want to do it is control example coins for this. Okay, and we'll can control them based on the seasons. Um, in a view, if we look right here on a tree, you can notice as the seasons it start with a zero. Age and health as default if you say it's hundred percent. Seasons is a zero, which starts spring. So zero it's a spring, twenty-five will be summer, seventy-five will be fall, and hundred percent is winter. So it's going kind of around um from zero to one. Again, it doesn't go in circles, so overall we need to have it like no spread or coins maybe should appear in a fall. So about 75, 0, 075, it should be appear and they disappear coins. Uh, we can maybe add some or size of them should growing and appear end of the spring. So kind of the timeline of the age of these coins, we need to work on that. Okay, that is kind of logic um, behind. So what do we need to do with coins, we need to control their size, okay, increase, decrease size, and let them appear in specific time. So let's go increasing. And if you remember um, what I did with coins, okay, we gone into transformation and right here where we added. So it's what I want to do. I want to go and transform, scale, global, and manipulating with these values to change a little bit. We can also manipulate with the colors, similar ways as we do this, but we won't do this um, kind of tutorial for now. So let me go ahead, select one with random. Okay, I'm going to paste, copy paste right here. And now except we'll just need to go to, okay, let me shrink it just slightly down from this move map. Okay, uncheck right here this move map and connect to the seasons. Okay, now remember on the seasons what I said, we have a lower value and a higher value. So I don't want them appear in the spring because maybe I want to have it values. So I put it 0 0.25 and um, I need them disappear when they become older. So this way we need to create another kind of interesting offset or a logic that will clamp them and remove it set back to zero values after this. So overall right here we have it in probably best will work with a number of these coins to work a little bit closer to the winter. So zero one um, maximum. Let's go to zero point seven five. So we'll have it between these two values and our values should be from two, if I'm right, it's, well, we can increase size from one till two. So let's do this way. Random set to 0 0.5. Okay. Let's go ahead and connect this to our global. Okay, remember, we not yet connect those to the um, our tree, how good tree does. So we can connect as well, add additional offset and connect health to the size. So the size can be direct or maybe amount. We'll do this a little bit later with amount as well. Okay, so right here we can go modify time of the season. Okay, and you can see the kind of growing. So the normally it should be shouldn't be affecting around this area. They should be about same size, small, which is actually will make even teeny tiny, and we'll go right here about size, and end of the fall when they become about the bigger size. We could let me go inside and maybe slightly modify this map. So we'll go to maybe 0 
six five it's where we have it bigger okay and zero five so we can even reduce maybe to the zero low value in this case let's go to shrink down to 0 0.35 Again, let's go inside and preview. So we have it. Our seasons. Oops, it's time. It's not season. So we get it. Spring. We don't have them. They start coming closer to summer. Some pop up right here, but in summer when we start have it small ones closer to the fall, producing big ones. And there you go. Here's a way inside the winter. Okay, so next what I want to do, I want to um, decrease amount of them in the winter. So I want to take these coins right here in uh, in a coin and you look the amount distribution right here so we want to modify this currently it's set our smooth map okay let's go back oops and we notice right here we cannot even modify number the reason is why because it's going to the top of segment where the leaves located so the Normally what I do, I will connect here, but instead we need to put it another offset, which is monitor for us or clipping the map. When we come to fall, it will set to the zero. So we'll have another offset that will monitor that for us. Okay, so what are we going to do? We need to create right here for the winter some way it's trigger. The one way to do this it is to creating threshold. So we can have it smooth or normal. So we'll just create a normal threshold. And threshold, you remember, it's from 0 to 1. And winter will be about 75. So we can set maybe that 80, somewhere around. And our lower value will be 0. And high value when it's going to reach minus 3. So we actually reduce the size. Okay, next, let's go ahead and um, create a new, okay, right here, I'll click. We'll go create a new offset. Okay, well, let's increase our parameters, preview. We'll take input from offset before because we want to control size. But the, our threshold, we also need it Go and connect to the season. So we'll go and right here, add to the season. Okay. And next, we'll go ahead and connect this to offset and connect to the global. So you'll notice right here, our should be decreasing like teeny tiny of them. So there you go. They're like all shrink in the winter, you know, still be there. Um, if we're going and check right here, spring, so we'll go spring. There should be teeny tiny, almost none of them. Then going closer to the summer, there's time when we need, probably want to add maybe flowering on top of them, but not on this version. So we'll give it summer. We start appearing right here, small of them. We'll go to the fall when it's a bigger size of them. So right here we have a nice big coins going. And in the winter, if you don't pick them up, they actually shrink in and get teeny tiny again. Just cold, kind of, you know, just hanging around um, like on the shrink on apple trees. If you notice, they will go through the winter, they're just shrinking down from cold. So this is how we affect and we're creating um, as well on the seasons we could apply same effect right here with our bills we can go and apply green bill numbers where we're connecting them and one nice thing is if you go over numbers you can see it's highlighted showing us where this is located so we can go inside here okay 
and also adjust these numbers based not just on the health but also additional apply maybe based on the season as well so we can reduce them and set with a threshold as well so in a winter it won't be any leaves at all um, or for example size we can variation with the size make them bigger same as we did before only connect this additional node to the season so on a health we can actually do same thing just apply similar and let's look right here we have to five five is maximum plus random one six so we can go ahead and set threshold as minus six right here high value and connect as well um through this so let's actually let's do this way very fast see how it will work okay we'll go right here paste okay okay we'll take this offset also connected to our offset input threshold set minus six and we'll just go connect to the number okay let's go to the root at this point and move to the summer and we have all our leaves back okay fall we have our leaves here and we'll go to the winter and we we'll should have no leaves and same some coins disappearing so again, let's go have it a very good one. So we'll here again, spring. Okay, let's take a few seconds. Okay, so let me save this till we're working. And again, this is a full size tree. We have it spring. Next, we have it summer. Okay, kind of hard to see those coins. Fall, we should have it more coins appear. Okay, right here you can see some coins appearing now, bigger ones. And we'll go to the winter time. We should have it no leaves and in tiny coins maybe hanging around. So right here we create our money tree as example. And uh, also, let's do one more time preview, and I'm going to make younger age as well. Okay, maybe it's too young. So right here, we have it age, spring, summer. Okay, about the same. A bit closer, fall, winter. There you go, there's a fall. So right here. Okay, and as well we can make it a little bit more dying type. Of course, this is just example, so you can see um, potential. You can create your own plant um how you want it the one thing let's do i want before export into the view what i recommend for you to do it's last things let's be sure you set plant age to the hundred percent so as a default um okay let me go maybe reset it find something more interesting look okay we'll go to spring as a season Okay, right here, next things, what is important before you export, it is go right here and increase quality. The other things also, be sure when you, after increasing in a wind, you'll be setting to properly segment. Uh, because if you set, okay, where is this, um, our parameters, just a second, let me go. And I'm messing right here. We have render best as preview, and you can have it different 
optimize for animation or quality because without optimizing for quality it's without wind optimize for animations if you want the wind affecting um, your plant inside the view so be sure you select correctly right here export same as preview or fixed resolution if you're doing same as preview it's what i was saying be sure your preview resolution is a set otherwise you can uh, preset to fixed resolution as you want it on this case you don't need to worry about that some but because i said as preview i am increasing subdivision to the level so i say okay this is okay it takes a second till it's render okay i look on this and this is okay this is tree look right to me the trunk look good okay all of this about right you know maybe a little bit too much of subdivision so let's drop down okay a little bit too many details for this trunk at least at that point okay and overall here's our kind of funnel tree when we create it it's still be not too complex so it's just mostly these controls that we try to manipulate and apply to their our age season and a half of our tree and i hope this tutorial was educational and help you to create your own plans thank you for watching and please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com